Well, if you're ever facing a dilemma or a mess or an obstacle, don't worry because there's always a creative way to solve it. Yeah, women's health editor Faye Brennan is here to give us five tricks to help us get out of a bind no matter what the situation is. Good to see you, Faye. Me too. Thanks, Thanks for, for having me. Yeah. yeah. So I love this. These are sort of creative ways to think about problem solving, yeah. right? When we're lying awake and we can't sleep because we have a dilemma. Right. And actually, you don't really tend to think about it, but problem solving is actually a skill that you can develop. So. Usually we tend to just rely on things that have worked for us in the past, like writing a pros and cons list or calling up mom and being like, help me. <laughs> right. So, but these are some unique ways that you wouldn't typically think about, but they are really effective. The first thing that you share is that pretend is that the, that the problem yes. is not that important. That's yeah. difficult. I know it's difficult and it sounds kind of weird, but actually when you think about it, you know, when you have a friend that comes to you and she runs down the whole story and the answer just seems so clear and obvious mm -hmm. to you, that's because you're not as emotionally invested in it as she is. So if you mentally, you know, remove yourself from the situation that you're dealing with, it helps you to look at the bigger picture and then also it pushes your emotions away so they don't really get in the way of your decision making. Smart. That makes good sense. Yeah. Uh, you also say to draw a picture, literally yeah. draw a picture of the dilemma. How does that work? Yeah, it sounds kind of weird, right? But really if you just map it out on paper and visually see the problem in front of you, it helps you to get, you know, each detail down and visually see it. I like this next tip, take a break. Yes. Oh, we are all so accustomed to just sitting at our desks, mm -hmm. staring at the computer screen and just hoping that an answer is gonna come to us and that's just such a waste of time. So if you get up, get out, you know, go for a run, take a walk, if you're at home, take a bath. You also say another one that I think is a little counterintuitive, but I can see why it would work. It's work when you'd prefer to have your brain turned off. Yes, and this one's really interesting. So basically what that means is, say you're not a morning person, hi, me, <laughs> and before your coffee you're just such a zombie, or if at night you need to like zone out and watch TV before you go to bed, if you really hunker down during those times, you can actually really think of creative brainstorming ideas. And along the lines, when you're taking this break, get out of your normal space. Yes. Get up off the desk, walk, yes. move around. That's because subconsciously, we tend to associate our environment with experiences we've had there in the past. So say you have a really you know, high stress, fast paced job. If you're always sitting in your office, you're gonna feel that all the time. So like, go downstairs, go to the coffee shop, or even down the hallway to the conference room, and then you'll just be surprised how the different you know, things that you're seeing, the people you're encountering, noises, sounds, everything, it's gonna to totally change the way you're thinking. It sounds like the one thing that a lot of these tricks have in common is to shake up your routine a little bit, to try to make your brain see things from different angles, whether yes. you're drawing it or walking, or like you said before, coffee. Uh, one of the bottom lines of the studies though is that you shouldn't delay. You should get right, right to it, right? Right, because procrastinating, it doesn't help anyone, you know. And it's, it's a problem, like when you're day to day, you're at work, you're like, oh, I really don't wanna do this. But so there's three steps that you can get over it, which is number one, you just have to admit to yourself that it's not that you can't solve the problem, it's that you just don't wanna do the work involved. You know, mm -hmm. that's basically what it is. So number two is you admit to yourself that also you're probably not gonna wanna do it tomorrow and then you've just wasted a day. Yeah. So even if you start with something, even if it's just a line, a paragraph, a doodle, something today, you know it's really gonna get the ball rolling. Sure, one of these is going to work. Yes. It's gonna get you sorted <laughs> out. Thank you so much. Thank Good you. To have you. For more information on how to become a great problem-solving genius, check out Women's Health Magazine.